So what's up guys, Jermaine here. Welcome back if you've been here before. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you are new here, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, I post here uh, pretty much daily now about anything financial related, um, anything that will help you to make more money, anything investing, uh, stuff like that. Um, so what I'm gonna discuss here today is, you know, Amazon's uh, uh, Jeff Bezos, CEO, is now worth $171 billion, and he's willing to testify before Congress uh, following pressure from lawmakers, and this is due to the antitrust probe. Um, and that's against not only just um, Amazon and him, but it's against all the um, uh, major tech companies out there, Apple, uh, Facebook, but mostly I say he has the biggest target on his back and that's probably because the massive size of Amazon and I think that eventually there's going to come a time where they're going to they're going to definitely eventually put more regulation into play on how these major tech companies are able to operate but if Amazon particularly becomes too large they're going to break it up I promise you that and the reason why I'm saying that is because the United States has done this before. There was a guy named John D. Rockefeller where he um, presumed today, still today, people believe that he was the richest person um, in the world at any time, that no one still hasn't beat his worth. It was estimated at one time that today's money, he would be worth a trillion dollars had he had all of those. And now he, what happened was he owned a... A oil and gas company and at the time it was very expensive for you know your average American to afford it but he by him um, essentially just buying up all his competitors and I mean he bought up all his competitors and he made it to where it was cheaper he dropped the price so low to where even anyone else left that could, was competing against him couldn't compete against him because they just couldn't afford to sell it at the prices that he was selling it at so naturally, all the customers was migrating to him because he just owned such a large market share of oil and gas that everyone went to him. So anyone else that refused to sell to him just died, <laughs> essentially. So he just basically went around and just, you know, gave ultimatums say, hey, live or die. You know, you can live, sell to me. Or die by, you know, your company's just going to go out of business because nobody's going to shop at you no more. But, you know, the story was that he became so big by buying up everything that he, he owned. He dominated the entire market. But what happened was Congress found him um, guilty in violation of antitrust to where they broke up his company. And I believe it was like 30 different companies they broke it up into. But get this. All of them companies that they broke it up into are companies that are still relevant today. Exxon, Mobil, BP, Sunco, or I mean, Sunoco, um, what was another one? Chevron. All of those companies, plus, you know, a lot more. But those are the big name ones that you will hear. Uh, you know, BP, Exxon, Mobil, um, Sunoco, um, Chevron. All of those were one company. One company, and get this, two of those that I just named are publicly traded on the Dow Jones right now, and those are Chevron and Exxon. All of those was one company owned by one man. Understand that. So, yeah, that just shows how much he dominated the market and how successful all of those individual companies went on to be by themselves after Congress broke it up and took it from him. But to get back to this with... um. Amazon and Jeff Bezos, um, you know, as he keeps buying more and more of these companies and, you know, making new acquisitions, yeah, he's getting more richer, but he's putting a huge target on his back. I mean, $171 billion, you know, uh, clearly he's the number one richest person in the world that we know of. And that I would say we only know that is because his money is tied to a publicly traded company. There are people like out in the Middle East that have private money, you know, money their time into the private markets. So we don't really know what there are out there, but it very well could be someone richer than him. But 
this is an American that is his money is tied to the public market. So that's why he's facing facing so much scrutiny. And just to put it in perspective, the number two guy is Bill Gates, and he comes in at one hundred and ten billion. So by far, he's exceeding him. And I mean, it's clear right now to show that, you know, by the end of the year, he'll, Jeff Bezos will be worth two hundred billion dollars, which is insanely amount of money. But um, so Amazon says Jeff Bezos is willing to testify before Congress following pressure from lawmakers. Now, um, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos is willing to testify before House lawmakers who are probing into the tech industry for potential antitrust violations. Now, this is according to a letter sent um, by the company's lawyer to congressional leaders. So the letter stated, um, sorry, the letter dated Monday uh, from Robert Kellen Kellner, uh, an outside attorney for Amazon, said the company is committed to cooperating for inquiry, for your inquiry, and will make an appropriate executive available uh, to testify, which would be Jeff Bezos. Now, Kellner went on to say, this includes making Jeff Bezos available to testify at a hearing with the other CEOs this summer. The New York Times was the first to report the, the, um, the letter. The offer of Jeff Bezos' testimony follows pressure by members of the House Antitrust Subcommittee who have deemed the CEO, uh, I'm sorry, who have demanded the CEO to appear before the panel. Now, in May, a bipartisan group of lawmakers threatened to subpoena Bezos if he did not agree to testify. Lawmakers said they would, that they wanted to question Bezos on Amazon's reported use of third-party sellers' data to benefit its own private, private label products that compete with independent sellers. Now, in prior testimony, Amazon officials have denied the practice. In addition to Amazon, the three other tech tech giants under congressional investigations are Apple, Facebook, and Google, and are also widely expected to testify as an as yet scheduled hearing that would take place as soon as next month. Now, unlike CEOs of Facebook and Google, Bezos did not testify before Congress during the wave of tech scrutiny following the 2016 election that later privacy uh, scandals. Now, the uh, attorney uh, cited a number of outstanding factors such as timing, hearing, format, and the company's ongoing production of documents to the to committee before adding that other Amazon executives, not Bezos, are directly in charge of the business units under investigation. Amazon has provided 17 um, of the uh, documents to the committee to the committee so far um, the late the letter said totaling as many as 225,000 pages of records now what I think is gonna happen is there's definitely like I said before is gonna be some kind of new legislation that's gonna come out um, that is gonna essentially tighten the belt on these tech giants because they just have too much power they control too much of the market and I, I just think it's getting to a point where it's they're just too powerful at this point but like i said particularly with amazon you know i don't think jeff bezos or in amazon is at the level to where he would be in violation of antitrust i mean he's just a smart guy that understands business and technology and he's made billions of dollars off of that you know like this company went public i think it was back in 94 96 and it was only trading at four dollars a share now it's closing in at three thousand dollars a share. That's how he did it, you know. Took a company, founded it, went public with it, and the public markets ate it up. Wall Street loves it. So, but I do think um, Amazon does need to slow down on acquisitions because it's just becoming a point to where they're just dominating everything and controlling the entire market. And then once it becomes a situation where it is uh, considered a monopoly, Congress will break it up. It won't be done under this administration, but I do believe um, if uh, Biden does win the election, you're going to see a rash of changes that's going to come through with a lot of these um, tech giants, especially Amazon, you know, and the more and more money that Bezos does occur, he's going to make a bigger target for his back, you know, eventually he's going to cross the 
threshold where he's worth a quarter of a trillion dollars. And I think that's going to be where, you know, everybody's going to really say something has to be done. He's too rich. And, you know, it's, it's capitalism, you know. I get it. Capitalism, you know, you start a business, you become rich, you become wealthy, you know, and, you know, you reap the rewards from it. So, but let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this. Let me know what you think is going to happen. Give me your insight on it. And, you know, until next time, peace.